Opelius Macrinus, is the man who murdered Emperor Bassianus Caracalla. Not himself, of course, but tacitly assisted. Macrinus commanded the Praetorians, guarded the Highness. He knew about the plot, and according to other sources, he masterminded it himself. Either way, he did nothing to protect the body. When Caracalla went to the bushes, he was stabbed with a sword by his personal guard, Marcialis. Macrinus was one of the first to run up to the murdered man and shouted, Who did this? The fleeing Marcialis was caught up at that moment by a mounted guard from the Scythians and impaled on a spear. The ends into the water. It is difficult to say who the ancient historians have equestrian guards. Scythians. Maybe some eastern aristocrats. It happened in Syria when the legions were about to go to war with Parthia. The soldiers consulted for three days and appointed Macrinus emperor. He hesitated for a while and agreed, since the empire was calling. Father's senators for a long time did not believe in the death of hated Caracalla. When the news was confirmed, they enthusiastically supported the candidacy of Macrinus. On the principle, anyone but a fratricidal, incestuous, and murderous senator. In Roman imperial history, there were many inglorious rulers, and Macrinus is one of them. In his short reign, he made no notable marks, ruled the state poorly, maybe because of personal qualities, or maybe because he listened too much to his ministers. Macrinus never moved to Rome, and all his brief reign lived in Antioch. One episode in his career is interesting. The Senate proclaimed him happy and pious, Felix et Pius. Macrinus accepted only the title Felix, an epigram circulated among the people in this connection. An old contemptible figure, a cruel and rude deceiver. He longs to be happy, though he does not want to be pious. He may be pious, he may seem happy, but be he both impious and unhappy always. Note, godliness. Besides true reverence for God and moral living and so on, also the practical fruits of brotherly love and attention to the needs of one's neighbors. The poem was written in Greek, then translated into Latin. Apparently the emperor was touched by these lines, and he responded to them also in verse. If from unknown fate had not the lines of this Greek like this Latin scoundrel, the people would know nothing, nor the senate, nor the rogue. No one would have written me such vile verses. It was not shy to criticize the rulers, and the rulers were not afraid to respond to criticism, although so clumsily. Later ancients wrote all sorts of nasty things about him. Well, this is normal even for the current historians. They say that he was generous in his executions and was born in a brothel, and lecherous and all that other stuff. One thing is clear, he was definitely not popular, and in the summer of 218, paid legions enthroned the next emperor, Elagobal, 